Back out at Hank Aaron Stadium for the Mobile Bay Bears. Melanie Newman today joined by a special guest with the Diamondbacks infield and fielding coordinator Perez Chica. Now, thank you for joining us this afternoon. No, th thanks for having me on, on your show. So now you had a pretty extensive experience throughout minor league baseball yourself. What was the role like to transition from player to coach? You know, I, I don't think it was as hard for me. Uh, I played 12 and a half years in the minor league system, big league, uh, a couple of stints in the big leagues. Uh, I did a lot of learning, either sitting on the bench, watching our managers go at it and, and learn how to manage the game and also learn of what they saw in certain players. Uh, and I think I, I took that into my coaching career, and I'm still learning. And they always said that once you stop learning in this game, you got to get out of the business. And I feel that I still have a lot of learning to do, and I'm, I'm willing to learn from every stop I make. Maybe Robbie, some during the game, I might learn something from him today too. So, so with all the learning experiences that you've had so far, you've worked with some of the bigger backs coordinators. Who would you say has really had the biggest influence on you since taking this role? Uh, well, I, you know, I, Dennis Llewellyn, uh, he was a, a mentor of mine. He's the pitching coach now with the Mississippi Braves here. Uh, but, but there's been a lot. I, I've been very fortunate to work with uh, Bill Plummer, Joe Youngblood, Chris Crone, all, a lot of our big league guys that are now managing, guys that are managing the big leagues. Uh, Chip Hale was a mentor of mine. Uh, uh, just I've been very fortunate in my career to be around a lot of good baseball people. And when you come out to teams like Mobile, what's your bigger focus? Well, I, I, I specifically work with the infielders, but I, I, I see the whole thing. I want to watch the game. I want to make sure that these guys are playing the game the right way. I, I like guys that like to hustle. I like, I like the guys that make the clean plays. I like pitching. I, I always, I've always said that pitching and defense wins you games. Timely hitting, yeah, of course. Yeah, you, you need that too. But pitching, it, it all starts with pitching and defense for me. And so what have you really noticed the Bay Bears having turned around last night and pulling out a win for the first in five games? What were you working on with them? Uh, well, we did a lot of infield stuff, uh, mainly when I come into to any city. I do a lot of infield work, start off with the middle infielders, working on double plays, working on footwork, mechanics, uh, corner infielders today, working on their first pitch movement, reaction drills, one-hand drills. It, whatever it takes to make these guys, when they come into a game, they just react to the ball. See the ball, catch the ball, throw the ball. Uh, if we can get them to think that way, I think they're, they're, they're doing the right thing. Uh, other than that, for me, as I know this is a big series, I think this team is, is ahead half game. And uh, we've been fortunate in these, these last four or five years here that we've had teams that have played in championship matches and won some championship series. So uh, we're, we're hopefully uh, we continue the tradition and, and, and win some games so we can stay on top. And with all of the tradition and leading the teams, the Babers have had a bigger series of managers, including Andy Green, who's now with the parent club. You were a former AA manager yourself, now the Smokies with a different affiliate. So what's your relationship like with manager Robbie Hammock, having had this position before? Well, I, 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 I know what he's going through right now. It's... Uh you know, it's like like we said, managing managing is tough. Everybody thinks, oh, yeah, you go on the field, you do your thing, and that's it. No, there's a lot of things that happen in the middle of a game, within the game. And for me, you're never going to you're never gonna learn everything about the game of baseball. But the ones like our mentor, Tony LaRusso, he'll come in and talk to us about the managing game. He said, you'll, you're always managing. He said, you go to a game, you watch a game, you're managing that game. I find myself doing the same thing where I come here. Uh, go to Visalia, go to Reno. I'm always managing the game because I think that's the way you, that's how you learn. And then you ask them, hey, did you think of doing something different on this in that situation? And I want to I want to hear what he says because you know, hey, I just learned something today. I cause I understand what he's trying to uh, get me to understand. This is why I did this in this situation. So you're managing the game, they're managing the game, but we're both learning at the same time. Hopefully, the two of you will be able to have a winning managerial combo tonight. Again, thank you. It would be nice. Yeah, thank you. Again, with the infield and fielding coordinator, Perez Chica, this is Melanie Newman for the Mobile Bay Bears. When we come back, Justin Baker will have first pitch for you between the Mobile Bay Bears and the Mississippi Braves.